All right, so first thing, uh, Inland Pro sent us this adapter plate uh, for the JHUK. So this is the adapter plate. Uh, here's, you can see, really easy, plate to engine. So we're gonna uh, attach the plate to the engine right now. We don't have a K-series clutch yet, so this is just gonna be a dry run. My goal for today is to figure out the mounting uh, for the transmission mount. That's vintage. Okay. So I have to build a new one of these to go from this mount to the K-series transmission when I get it in there. selling this because we're not doing anything J-series anymore. So we also do a K-series clutch. In an awesome organization. take that out and then figure out how to redo it. I don't know how that's going to work yet. I'm sure somebody has kits out there to make it easy to redo that. Or I can just build something. Anyway, it's all coming apart anyway, so it's not the end of the world. There's some movage. There we go. So, this water rail has to remain, but the housing that it goes into underneath, the plate is smashing into it. So I have to delete this housing or do something with it. Uh, it's a race car, so that's good, but still annoying. I saw somewhere these ports they're threaded I think they're uh, m28 by 1.5 so I may be able to just order plates that screw in or uh, adapters for the ANs and then uh, yeah just run those to a manifold of sorts in and out of the radiator and then this one I'll just weld or clamp a piece of hose on and that one will be fine yeah so it won't be the end of the world like I said, most of the swaps that use the J, you know, Miata swaps, they get rid of that big clunky thing anyway, so. All right, let's go up. I think we're ready to put the, the gearbox up. Yeah. Which uh we gotta set up. 
A few moments later. This is gonna be really nice because I don't have to worry about the clutch or the input shaft. I can just go boop. Are you not used to having nice labels? No. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna get it together because it'll hang where it's at. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's a couple of holes where they're both are supposed to go this way that there's block in the way. So, and I was warned that you have to do a little bit of clearancing. A few moments later. It fits. Kind of. It fits. I don't have to. Oh, maybe not yet. I don't think I have to redo the turbo fit. The engine is going to level out, so you're going to want to shoot from on top. It might level out. I think it's actually good. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it looks good. So at this point, more or less, I'll just eyeball level. It looks like transmission needs to go up a little bit. So that watch that. Real science oriented, I know. Yeah, it looks pretty close. So from here, I have to uh, just build a simple bracket that goes from, from these three bolt points those three bolts up to there. And then the transmission's mounted. All right. So, great success. We'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> Sweet. Got the mount on, uh, welded it, looks good. Added a little reinforcement brace. So, I'm pretty happy how it turned out. Although I just looked, I might have to modify it because the reverse Reverse release comes in there, so I'm probably gonna have to angle cut this or grind it. So it's gotta be like that, and it looks like it's gonna hit. I won't know until I try it, but. Oh. So, next up, I'm waiting on parts from Honda. Um, so I just got all new Honda and everything because it's a race car, you don't wanna risk it on a, risk a race after the trailer in 12 hours on a junkyard part, so. Uh, we'll resume this project when those parts land. Nice, good to know.